Welcome to Virtual Public Art Studio, Session 4. Today we are featuring the monumental work, Prayer Meeting, by MacArthur Genius Grant award-winning artist, the late John Scott. One of the largest works in the public art collection, it is located at the University of Houston downtown campus. Prayer Meeting is an arresting and captivating work revealing the rich history of the African diaspora in the southern United States. As New Orleans' most nationally renowned and respected artist, John Scott was also one of the first African-American artists to be embraced by the predominantly white art mainstream, paving the way for many other African-Americans in the art world. A pioneer whose legacy is so relevant today as we continue to reflect on the Black Lives Matter movement. The reflective services and prayer meeting, Glimmering in the Sun, serve as reminders of signals used in early human communication, while the rhythmic pattern of the fan in this work is based on the paper or bamboo church fan commonly found in southern churches during the early and mid 20th century. These prayer fans became popular in predominantly black congregations in the South and were often personalized, which gave the congregation a further sense of identity and community. These historic forms Scott drew upon in his work beckon us to investigate their meaning and inspire us to look even closer at this large sculpture. In our studio today, we are going to make our own fans inspired by Scott's work. We will be using household materials to create this beautiful stained metallic effect for your fan. It will be up to you to personalize it and make it your own as you think about Scott's work as your inspiration. You will need the following scissors, cardboard, school glue, food coloring, large popsicle sticks or large nail files, aluminum foil, a small paintbrush or foam brush, mixing spoon or stick, and small bowls or disposable cups. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our glue mix so that we can paint on the foil like you see here. So you're gonna need some food coloring, just any like basic food coloring will do, gel or water-based. Water-based might work a little easier. And then your glue. And you're gonna take the glue and put it into a disposable cup um, or something that, you know, it doesn't have to be disposable, it can be whatever, because it's washable glue. And you're gonna put, you know, a good amount, it depends how many fans you wanna make or how big your fan is. And then you put in your food coloring. So I'm gonna do a blue green color. And you want a good amount, because if it's too light, then you're really not gonna get this effect once you've got it on your foil. And then I'm gonna add a little green to the glue to make it kind of a teal color. Of course, you can experiment with the colors of your glue. When you think you have the color that you want, go ahead and mix it up. I, you can see I'm using a popsicle stick. You can use whatever. You can see there it's a beautiful dark color. And that's what you want. You don't want it to be too pale, unless that's what you're going for. But if you really want the color to pop, you want this nice saturated color like that. So go ahead and mix up whatever colors that you would like, and then we can go from there. So when you're ready with your colors, you can start painting your foil. I have a foam brush, but you can use an old paintbrush or whatever, even your hands if you really want to get dirty. Um, and go ahead, get a hefty amount on your brush, and you can start painting. And keep in mind that whatever you see is kind of going to be what you get. So if it's a little hard to move around the foil, you can water down your glue with just using just plain old tap water. And if you want to create uh, thicker areas, you can do just what I did. If you leave it like that, it will dry like that. It will take longer, but you will see about that same level of darkness in the color if you just let it dry like that. So you can play around with how you add 
color to your foil and think about painting while you're doing it. What kind of things can you do with paint? And if you water this down or if you add more food coloring, what's it going to do to your final piece? So once you do whatever you want to do, you just wait and let it dry and then we'll go to the next step. So while you're waiting for your foil to dry, you can make the fan itself. So what I did is I just got some cardboard and cut out um, a shape that was similar to John Scott's shapes that we see in prayer meeting. But feel free to use whatever kind of shape that you would like. I cut out one and then I'm gonna use that as a template to trace onto another piece of cardboard so that I can cut out my second shape. And what we're gonna do, why you need two shapes, is that you're gonna fold the foil along the seams of each shape and then stick them together so that there's um, no foil seams that you can see. So you can tell when your foil is dry if you can touch it and it doesn't move. This area is probably not dry. For really thick areas like that, it could take up to like four hours before it's dry. So do, th do be careful of that if you use a ton of glue. But for the rest of this, we're ready. You're gonna take your piece and mark which is the front so that when you put them together, it makes the a good fan. You know, otherwise you don't want it to be like that. So you know where that is, and then you can kind of see how much foil that you're gonna need to cut to make sure you have the right amount because you want a little more than just the shape because you want to be able to fold it over onto each piece. And go ahead and cut your foil for the next step. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how to fold your foil over. You have your piece on this side, and then you can this and just smush it down and there you have it so I did both sides and what you're gonna do is take your stick this is a nail file um, I liked using those because they come in really fun uh, different colors and patterns but you can also of course use popsicle sticks or something you know even a stick would work just out from your backyard and that will be your fan once you glue everything together and it will look more like these guys so you're done uh, you can use hot glue it might stay a little better than regular school glue if you do use the school glue be sure to really, um, you might want to take a book and set it on top of your fan so that the glue really sinks, sinks into it. Or you could take staples and staple around the edges um, or use tape, like circles of maybe shipping tape or packing tape, and that should get it to stick as well. Thanks for joining me on another virtual public art studio session in honor of artist John Scott. We will be having a whole new series of virtual public art studio sessions in honor of Color Field that's coming up in installation at UH Main Campus. Until then, follow us at our hashtag, PublicArtUHS, on our Facebook page and at our website. I'll see you next time.